Hey folks, what's up? Stan Bader here. And after a previous video, I got some questions around uh, GitHub and basically open source uh, portfolios or whether or not you should make GitHub a part of your portfolio and your online presence as a developer. And um, so in this video, I wanna cover some of that and also talk about some alternatives here. So maybe let's go over the uh, alternatives first so that you know kind of what the space looks like. So, um, of course, GitHub is kind of the, the best known. I think it's the biggest service offering a repository hosting and um, it's free to sign up, but then you can only have public repositories. And if you want to keep your code private, um, you know, for personal projects, let's say like your website or some other projects, you have to pay, uh, I think it starts at four or five dollars a month. Seven, okay. So I, I've got a paid account and I'm very happy with GitHub. So personally, I would go with GitHub if you're looking to make this part of your developer portfolio, just because GitHub is such a well-known brand and it has so much traction, that's why I would go with GitHub. Um, now, some alternatives would be GitLab, which I think as the main distinction, um, it probably has a couple of more awesome features that I don't know about and things like uh, they have build servers and everything integrated. But if you're looking at it from a portfolio perspective, I think the big difference is that they do free repositories as well, um, which doesn't really mean, I mean, you could still put your public facing open source stuff on GitHub and that's probably what I would do. But GitLab could be a good alternative. They haven't been uh, around for too long, could be a good alternative. Another alternative would be uh, Bitbucket, which again, uh, let's you sign up for a free account and they also have free private repositories as a difference compared to GitHub. Um, personally, like I said, I would probably go with GitHub uh, just because they have the best known brand and um, I feel like their interface is the best personally. So I would go with GitHub, but really, you know, as long as you have, as long as you have some public facing presence on one of these platforms, I think you'll be fine because um, th there's not that much of a difference. You know, people are going to be able to browse your code and all that. All right, let's take a look at my GitHub profile as an example. So um, I set that up several years ago and just kind of, you know, started releasing all of my open source stuff on, um, on my GitHub. Um, and I've got a couple of projects here. So they, they recently rolled out a change where they let you sort the projects that are displayed here. And you can take advantage of that and, and kind of, um, you know, put your best work out there so people can see what you're all about. And I think this is really a key part of having a good online portfolio or good online presence as a developer. You know, this is, I think you should start with your blog or write about programming. And then very soon after, or almost immediately, you want to add something like a, a GitHub profile or, or a GitLab profile or a Bitbucket profile where you just share some of your code so people can see what your skills level, well, skill levels are and they, they can just get a feel for you. And I think it really helps having some open source projects here. And you know, the, the things you start with, they don't have to be super impressive, right? Like for example, I did this little thing where I was, um, I was not happy that there weren't any good uh, readme templates for open source projects out there. So I started this readme template repository and um, it got a couple of likes and it, you know, that stuff is very easy to, to set up, but it actually provides some value to people. And, and people are gonna see that basically you wanna make the world a better place, right? Because you're putting this work in and you're giving it away for free. And so stuff like that, it really shows that, you know, you care about software, you care about programming, that you wanna give back to the community. And um, I, I really care about those things. And uh, so this is a great way to do that. And then at the same time, get some credit for it. So when you're applying for a job or someone's gonna seek out your GitHub pro uh, portfolio or your GitLab or Bitbucket pro portfolio, they're, they're just gonna see that you're active and you know, you're passionate about this stuff. And now with something like uh, Schedule, which has you know a couple of thousand likes on GitHub now or stars or whatever, with this stuff, it, it's all about the humble beginnings, right? I start, I wrote this over a weekend, threw it out there. People on Reddit hated it, and and now it's one, it, you know, it's a really popular Python uh, library on GitHub. So if you have something like that, like that has put me in touch with a lot of people and opened a lot of opportunities for me. So this is great, but you know, you, you just gotta try a bunch of things and, because you never really know what's gonna get traction and what people are gonna like. But uh, to, to kind of put a conclusion on that, yes, absolutely. I think if you're serious about building an online presence as a developer, 
I would definitely start with a personal website, add GitHub as soon as possible, and uh, then you probably, I mean, you definitely want a LinkedIn profile as well, I think, and you probably want to think about adding a Twitter account as well. And then I think you've got your bases pretty much covered, but um, as, at least that's what worked for me, and that's uh, I'm kind of biased towards that, but I've seen that work really well in other people. So this is kind of the strategy that I would take. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have many more videos on uh, this topic and kind of how to build your online presence as a developer, as a Python developer. And if you have any more questions about this topic, then feel free to drop a comment below the video or uh, reach out to me on Twitter or send me an email. Cool, thank you very much.